Hi, I'm Jade, I'm a financial advisor, and today I'm here to help you get financially literate. And how do we do that? I know that finance can be kind of a boring topic or a really stressful topic, depending on what kind of position you're in. So I thought we'd do a step-by-step -step tutorial on my top tips to get financially literate. All right, let's start with what financial literacy actually means. So if you ask Investopedia, this is the definition, and it is financial literacy is the ability to understand and effectively use various financial skills, including personal financial management, budgeting, and investing. So basically, it's equipping yourself with the baseline knowledge you need to manage your own personal finances. So where do you begin? I mean, Google is an amazing resource. Googling anything can produce a lot of amazing results, but the problem is you have to filter them yourself in order to figure out what is relevant to you and what's not which is why a lot of people go to financial advisors, like me, and ask them some questions. So if we're talking about resources you can get online that I like, here is a list here. So let's say you had your initial Google search and you're like, okay, here's all this information. How do I process it? And the answer is by setting a goal. The goal could be as simple as understanding basic financial things like your bank account, how do you use that, what does it do, what is your Kiwi saver, or it could be getting a mortgage and figuring out what kind of mortgage might be good for you when you buy your first home. There are so many things. But for today, let's assume that your goal is you want to understand the basics of financial literacy. got your goal. Great start. Step number two is coming up with a plan to make that goal happen. In this case, with a goal of gaining financial literacy and the basics, what I would suggest you do is write down a list of things you want to look at. Like for example, you could do podcasts, YouTube videos, literally go and talk to a financial advisor, go to the sorted website, which is what the FMA recommends a lot of the time. And I think that those different resources and going through those different steps, writing down the key things so that you have what you need will set you up for success. And step number three, the lucky last step, is reflecting on what you've done and actually assessing, have you achieved your goal? So in this case, with the financial literacy goal, have you learned what the basic things you use in your financial life are? Like your bank accounts, maybe a budgeting spreadsheet or a budgeting app, what your key saver fund is and how it works, and anything else in your financial life. And if the answer is yes, great, that's so awesome. But it's also kind of unlikely that you'll cover everything the first time you try it. So you can also say, okay, maybe I don't understand enough about this one little area and I'm gonna go follow up with that. We've gone through the three steps that I suggest in order to achieve a financial goal, in this case, financial literacy, which are number one, to set your goal, number two, to make a plan, and number three, to measure your progress against that plan and come up with a new goal after that. But don't just leave it at that after this video, now you know the process. I suggest you go and set your own financial goal and come up with some steps to achieve it. Science says, that you're statistically more likely to achieve your goal if you write it down. So comment it below and let me know how it goes.